Hey guys, today we have the Transparent One by Vanitu. This is a all-in-one speaker, DAC, USB interface, and amplifier in a single unit. As you can see here from the back panel, there's a wide arrangement of inputs for you to utilize with this thing. It's pretty great. Um, the price point on this particular unit is around $500 for the black and about $550 for the cherry, which this one is in cherry. Um, the transparent one has a lot of different inputs. It's really great to see in something like this all-in-one encompassing kind of thing. It has an optical input, a coaxial digital input that you can cr connect directly from another device if you so desire. However, this one also has a USB input located right here, which plugs directly into your computer. Now that will give you um, pretty good sound. I tested it out. I found it quite, quite pleasing. Um, and then obviously these speaker taps go to the other speaker. Also really handy in this model, if you can see here, is a left and right switch, which allows you to move the source to either speaker. So if your computer is closer to one side, the left or the right, you can go ahead and run the wires that way. Very cool. In addition to that, we have a sub out located right here. The sub out actually activates with the DSP that's internal on this, on this device and allows it to do a frequency cutoff. So only base signals are sent to the subwoofer and then the rest of the signals are actually utilized for this for these speakers when you do that it actually allows it to kind of free up a little bit of the the power a lot of the work for these speakers and hopefully you get a little bit better sound because they're handling less of the frequency range so that's pretty fun too um, the, I found the volume on these to be pretty adequate if you really want to power a small room it's probably the best size for these smaller sized speakers they didn't blow me out of the water with their volume. If you want like to have a raging party, you might want to step it up to a bigger speaker and a bigger amplifier. But for the most part, they worked exceptionally well when powering small to maybe medium-sized rooms and definitely enough juice for a, more of a near-field listening. So something that's sitting on your desk, don't even worry about it. They got plenty of power. They also have an analog in, so you can plug in your iPod or, or whatever you want right into it. The inclusion of a digital optical input on this device is actually very cool because it'll allow you to plug directly into an Apple TV if you so desire or even an Airport Express output. So you can kind of have like a sat satellite uh, listening station anywhere you want in your house. It doesn't have to be locked down directly to a computer. These speakers do not have built-in airplay unfortunately so you will need another kind of delivery device to get it to there but once it's there it has all the digital decoding built right in which works out very nicely for anything you want to do out and about the house as you can see from the back here there's a five and a quarter inch rear radiator that helps with the bass. I found that th these speakers work best when they had about seven inches or so of space behind them. When they're put up right against the wall, they kind of have tend to be a little uh, bassy. You can adjust that, however, with these tone adjustments here. So if it's too close to the wall, you could do this. But for the tightest bass, I find a little bit of breathing room is the best. Actually, when that was done, I did find these to have a pretty flat fre fre frequency response, which is very nice. Not too much bloating on the bottom end and an, on a nice, nice texture on the top end as well. So give them a little space. They'll, they'll work the best. The overall signature was good for $500. They did deliver on sound quality and volume. They're not the most acute, the most detailed speakers I've ever heard in my life. Obviously my reference system here has a bit more detail across the board, maybe some high, maybe better extensions on the top and the bottom, but for $500, not too shabby. Really enjoyed them. They have a great, they have a great sound to them and they're really fun. So you can go ahead and slap them on your desktop setup. If you want a computer speaker plug out, these are ready to go right out of the box for that kind of thing. Also, if you want to have a satellite kind of set up in your house, these will definitely outperform a lot of the iPod docks, uh, especially since a lot of the price points are 
pushing past $500 for the fancier docks. If you're just looking to base straight up, definitely something you want to you might want to check out because these do have pretty good surprising base for what I was expecting. I mean, it's thumping. When it's on the desk, it actually vibrates the desk. So something, if you like bass, check it out. You can crank it up all the way and, and, and you might find something really enjoyable for your taste. Feel free to check out the website, www.audio-head.com. Thank you much. Have a good day.